welcome to Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. I am from Ohio, USA. Today, I will share with you how to make vegetable fajitas with fresh guacamole, a healthy lunch with a lot of flavor. Our ingredients are one organic sweet onion, one green organic bell pepper, one yellow organic bell pepper, one red organic bell pepper, one and a half cups sliced organic mushrooms, six tablespoons vegetable oil, one tablespoon chili powder, salt and pepper to taste, six tortillas, garnished with lime and cilantro, and for the guacamole, one avocado organic, the juice of one lime, one jalapeno, and one shallot. Now we'll prepare our vegetables. We've put the mushrooms into a large bowl. Next, we'll add the onion. We're only going to use half of our onion peeled, so we just slice this into thin strips by cutting along the lines. The onion will cook better if you break up these pieces into thin strips like this. That way all the vegetables will be about the same size as well. Next, the peppers. For the pepper, cut it in half. And you want to remove the seeds. the seeds in this bowl. Take that out to the compost later when we're done. The peppers will also slice into strips as well. Brightly colored peppers, whether red, orange, yellow, or green, are rich sources of some of the best nutrients available. Peppers have a lot of health benefits. They're good sources of thiamine and niacin, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin K, vitamin B6, potassium, and manganese. Red peppers also have lutein, which is good for eyesight. Now the last one. Colorful it is. Now that the vegetables are prepared, you simply add the chili powder to the oil, stir it up, We'll use this mixture to coat our vegetables. Wow, doesn't that look nice? Look at all those colors. So healthy. Take your time. Stir it well. Your fajitas will be really good. When it looks like all of your vegetables have been coated, 
set this aside and allow it to marinate for a moment. We'll do that now while we go outside and refill the bird feeder. When we come back, I'll share with you a tip on how to make fresh guacamole. Welcome back to Vegetarianism, The Noble Way of Living. We're working on our fajita lunch and now we'll make the guacamole. First, we'll cut our avocado in half. And remove the pit. Now to get out all of the good avocado, you just Scoop around with your spoon. There we have it. Both sides. Now we're going to make our guacamole in this blender. You can use a food processor if you like. Next, we'll add our jalapeno. For the jalapeno, just cut the top, put it in your scrap bowl, cut it in half, and we want to carefully remove the seeds. Now we will chop the jalapeno into smaller pieces, very small. like diced, thinly diced. Smells delicious. If you have a, a big jalapeno, you can use a little bit less if you don't want it too spicy. That was a big jalapeno, so we're going to save a little bit out. Now, we will use a small shallot. Just like the jalapeno, we want to dice this into fairly small pieces. Now, for the lime, cut it in half. We'll squeeze the juice out before we put it into the blender. There. This is our compost bowl. These pieces are good. We can save those for our next time we make guacamole. Now we add the lime juice into the blender as well. Put the lid on. We'll process this for about one minute until it's smooth. Stir ours a little bit more. Process for another few seconds until it's really smooth. Our guacamole is smooth now. We will put it in the fridge so it can chill for about 10 minutes. Now heat a large skillet or wok on high until very hot. Then add the marinated vegetables. We'll stir fry this for six to eight minutes until the vegetables are tender, 
get crisp. It smells delicious. At this time, we will also season them with salt and pepper. Just as much as you like, to your taste. You really want to stir most of the time that they're cooking to ensure that they cook evenly throughout. Looks wonderful, so colorful. I always try to take the time when I'm stirring to think of something really loving and kind because I know that my family will eat this food and it will taste so good if I think of happy, loving things while I'm cooking. Smile while you stir. Now I will share with you a tip on how to make your tortillas soft, taste good, and easier to roll. You just warm your pan to about 200 or 250 degrees so it's warm on low. Then you take one tortilla, place it in the pan for a few seconds. When you watch it carefully, we don't want it to get too crispy or to burn. Just flip after a second or two. That's all. Now it's soft. You take it out. Add one scoop of fajita mixture. Do all six this way. For a few seconds for each one. This amount of fajitas will serve two or three people for lunch. Your guests will be really impressed when they see the colorful fajitas. Just flip after just a few seconds. See it's very soft now, very colorful. It will be very delicious. So we have some more fajita left. If you have some more rolls, tortillas, you can even make more. Here is our presentation of vegetable fajitas. They're warm and have a little spice we will serve them with chilled guacamole for dipping. They will be an excellent lunch for us today. Thank you so much for your company on vegetarianism, the noble way of living. May God's grace always nourish you from within. See you next time.